This is the SmartBoard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, the Smart Survival Guide. This episode is Outsmarting the New Activity Builder. I'm your host, Matt Granger. We've already taken a look at how to create something in the Activity Builder, but sometimes you got to be smarter than the piece of technology. you got to be able to use it in ways that make more sense. So I'm going to go to the Activity Builder tab and turn off my Auto Hide so that tab won't disappear as I work. And we're going to go here. Maybe we are just introducing singular nouns. We don't want the singular and plural. We don't want to sort into two different boxes. We just want one. So maybe this lesson comes before the lesson about plural nouns as well. So we just want to be able to identify the singular nouns at first. So here in our Activity Builder tab, we're going to select an object. Now we can edit. So we're going to make this box our container. And what are the things that we want to accept? We want goose. We'll drag it here. Car. Uh, could these be images instead of words? Absolutely. Just doing this for simplicity. So we have car in there. Everything else is going to be rejected. So add all remaining. Oop, now notice here singular noun because that wasn't locked down. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. So what's going to happen? By default, anything that you want in there is going to fade out, and anything that gets rejected is going to bounce back. So, geese, nope, bounces back. Car, yeah, all well that fades out. Children, bounces back. Child, fades out, disappears. Okay, well. I don't want that to happen. I want the ones that are singular nouns, I want them to stay in the box. And the ones that aren't, I want them to disappear. I'm going to select that again and I'm going to edit this. Now here's the outsmarting part. And remember with the settings, fade out. Yeah, I could have them spin the ones that I want to stay in the singular noun box, but my only option for the rejected ones is to bounce back. I don't want them. I want them gone. Right? Let's get rid of them. Yeah, spinning the ones that I want to keep in the box, that works. But I want them in the box and I want the other ones gone. So to do that, I'm going to have to outsmart the activity builder. So I'm going to cleared all these actually I'll just drag it down here the ones that I do want to be selected now I'm gonna put those so the actual singular nouns are gonna go into the reject and the actual oops, plural nouns are gonna go into the accept because I can make the ones that are accepted actually fade out and disappear. And then the ones that I want to stay in the box, I will do nothing. So settings, the accepted, which are actually the wrong ones, children, fans, geese, apples, fade them out. I want them out of there. Get rid of them. Play a sound if you want to. If you have a sound, you can do that. Rejected objects, what do I want them to do? Nothing. Just put them in the box. Play the sound if you want to. Just put them in the box because then we're going to be able to talk about them at the end. So I'm going to click Done. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this box now. So, Goose. Is it a singular noun? Yes, it is. Nothing happens. It stays there. Fans. Is it a singular noun? Nope. Disappears. 
Apples, is that singular? No. Geese. No. Car. Yeah, it's singular. So what does it do? Nothing. It stays. Child. Stays. Children. Disappears. So there are times when you want something like this to happen, where you want the incorrect options to be gone. You want the correct options to stay. So in that case, you have to select your object and you have to outsmart the activity builder by actually flipping what's accepted and what's rejected, putting them into the opposite box. And then for the settings, fade out the things that are accepted because those are the things you don't want and do nothing with the things that are ones that are in the rejected box you want them to do nothing because those are actually the ones that you want that are actually accepted and they'll stay outsmarting the activity builder join us for our monthly spurgvug meetings around the first of the month you can find more information and current schedule and links to past meeting recordings at the smartboardrevolution.ning.com this has been Matt Granger for the Smart Survival Guides.